Hi, I'm Sue Grimshaw, and welcome to Borders True Romance, Borders True Romance blog, Borders True Romance videos, and Sue's Must Reads. But first, I want to tell you about Borders Plus program. This is our new Borders Rewards program that's in our stores now. So stop by, talk to your bookseller, and sign up today. Now, September, Sue's Must Reads, boy, have we got a list for you. We're going to start up front with no mercy. Sherilyn Kenyon's Next Dark Hunter, No Mercy, is on sale right now in our stores. Now let me tell you, if you finished Bad Moon Rising, that was the book before, well the sanctuary was blown up. Well, it's rebuilt, back together, and Dev is back in the story. And let me tell you, he's on the prowl. Or should I say, on the crawl? You know, whatever bear shifters do. Come on, let's see what's next. Chains of Fire by Christina Dodd is a reader favorite as is Nocturnal by Jacqueline Frank, Kate Douglas, Jess Haynes, and Claire Willis. Virginia Cantra's Children of the Sea series continues with The Immortal Sea, Belong to the Night by Shelley Laurenston, Cynthia Eden, and Cheryl Quinn. And Shiloh Walker's Veil of Shadows will fill your shopping basket. So you're not in the mood for paranormal? Well, that's okay. How about The Trouble with Paradise by Jill Shalvis? Or a great historical story by Jade Lee, Wicked Surrender. Whoa, now these are books I would buy just for the covers. Atlantis Betrayed by Alyssa Day and The Darkest Hour by Maya Banks. Now, seriously, they're both really, really good books. Alyssa Day continues with the Poseidon Warrior series and Maya Banks, The Darkest Hour. This begins her KGI series. Contemporary fans, in stores now. Renegade by Laura Lee. Love Me If You Dare by Carly Phillips. Burning Up by Susan Anderson. Linda Howard's Burn. And Jennifer Cruzy's Maybe This Time. That'll keep you busy. So many books, such a good month of romance, and it's so hard to choose. I sure hope we've helped with your selection for this month. Until next time, happy romance.